Sure. Yeah. <laughs> really up. cool. Shout out to that dude's really cool. Beast? Mm -hmm. He's a very nice guy. He's very high energy. <laughs> Three, two, All right, one, so. Go! Uh, so Mega was actually the person that had beaten uh, first class Will, who's uh, showing up on the stream twice. He was doing really well, but I guess uh, Ike is. I guess the Ike matchup didn't go that great. Either that or one of them is. He has to do something. I don't know. But uh, I'm pretty sure these two have played each other before. Oh, these two play I... each other so, so often in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah I, I think would they figure. like play each other every single week of Recognize or the DNA or something along those lines. They were definitely really experienced in fighting each other. Mousetrap, look at his spacing right now. Perfectly calling out that first side beat and trying to give Ooh. this. Yo, Mousetrap. nice spacing. And so Mousetrap has like leveled up significantly over like the past month. Apparently, Wi-Fi is uh, it's his domain, and now he's just like taking advantage of that fact. Because <laughs> I've never felt like Mouse Red has ever popped off this hard offline, with the exception of like maybe one or two performances where he just went nuts. Yeah, I think he's like a super solid player overall. He has like a super strong mentality. I like the way he thinks about the game, but on Wi-Fi for sure, I feel like he has a really, really he has a much heightened understanding of how he wants to be thinking about his character. <laughs> I really like the use of the t jolts there, just to sort of help give him a little bit of cover as he's coming back onto the stage. I think Mega right now, he's trying to fish for like a jump out of shield, though he's just really not finding it at all. These, these dash chances for Mouse are super good, especially the way he's spacing it. Like just outside of um, Mega's burst range out of shield, there's very little that Mega can do to get out of that. Um, and good use of the uh, down to just to strike Mega on um, the um, stage like that. Yeah, it does give a, it does give you a lot of options for when you're recovering. It kind of it, it uh, really reduces the chance that you're going to try to uh, attack the little edge to hit your quick attack because it does make your hurt box bigger. And that was a pretty good uh, confirm from Mega to kind of bring it back a little bit. And you can tell like uh, Mouse Red definitely very comfortable in this matchup. Yeah, the way that he's spacing himself under the platforms and around Ike, he is just making it so difficult for himself to get hit. Wow. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, this might hit you if you DI wrong. And then he DI's wrong because he's scared and he DI'd him. Oh man, that was almost it. That would have definitely been the stock if he got him at. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so that, like he's this time he's being nice and covered the mix up too. Um, yeah, Mega was just not prepared at all to deal to deal with like um, him going that far onto the stage. I, uh, Mega, you gotta like chill out a little bit, dude. Like, uh, yeah, so side B is a really good tool. Like, if it uh, if it catches your opponent unaware, or if you uh, or if you manage to barely whiff it, you can do a lot of things out of it like, immediately. But it's really risky to do it like in neutral like that against Pikachu, especially. I feel like he wasn't on punish for it though, except for like the first time that he threw it out, that mouse got, was just like able to space an extra smash for it. But like, no, he got punished with uh with with Air once. Like Pikachu definitely has <laughs> Pikachu just runs in to hug you and just murders you. Yeah, nice. I wish Pikachu was fat in this case and miss fat Pikachu. Of course you would miss fat Pikachu. Ah! This man died off the up <laughs> Just like that it's even? But it's like fake even? Nope, no, now that now this is pretty even, honestly. Um, <laughs> and you know, having having stage control right now, but immediately gonna be losing it. I feel like Mega he needs to position himself a little bit better to try to cover like these aggressive um like dashes to the center of the stage with the uh, with the quick attack. And we just see like Mega taking like all this damage, but it's, the big the big takeaway here is the fact that like it's not over until Mega is actually dead. Pikachu has like a lot of kill power and he has a lot of ability to actually like get the kill, but a lot of it requires uh, 50 50 guesses. And if uh, Mouse Red doesn't guess right, there's a very strong chance that uh, Mega's just gonna out survive him. You see, Mouse Red's playing really grounded. He's not trying to get any jump call outs. Or I feel like that he hasn't been able to get one yet. You know, Mega's like use of jumps have been so ambiguous. So, peep the timer. There are two minutes left. One thing out of the time. <laughs> Incredibly unlikely, but yeah. 
This has been this really is, slow. Like no, there hasn't been that much interaction. Been, this is what Mousepad has been becoming infamous for. Like the, in these Wi-Fi tournaments. Wi-Fi has done something to this man. He has not always played like this. And sometimes you just realize like the best way to play your characters is to play them on the way. Which I'm not saying that's what Mouse Rat's doing. Uh, but it's no, like... he's playing really patiently. Like, he's playing really... He's waiting for the Mega to over the He's waiting for him to push him too far. He's doing a good job. Look at it! He just waited for him. Um, yeah. but didn't really cover him anything at all. But... Jeez! <laughs> that Pikachu dash attack is like so... It's, it's so like... It should not be... It should not be as strong as it, like, as it is. Considering yeah. how like... How the animation looks. You know that thing Mousepad does when he wants a dash attack? Where he just starts dash dancing and shielding? Yeah. Like, like... <laughs> okay, I guess Poly will do it. But I feel like that's such a unique Mousepad thing. Every time I see him play, he always, always, always fishes with dash attack like that. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, honestly. Uh, dash dancing is a commit, but the thing is, like, when you play a character like Pikachu, who has the ability to kind of like just get out and in and out of people's faces super quickly? Uh, you want to sometimes take that risk because if somebody swings and they don't swing at the right time, you're going to get the kill or you're going to get something out of it. And that's game one of the uh, the best of the five set. So Mouse Red is currently up 1 0. He's got to be 3 0 to win this. Ah, oh, they misreported, these dummies. Uh, reset match. They're having some Smash GG problems. Mouse Rat has reported his victory. So it'll take a second. So sorry, just one second, I'll be right back. Okay. Apparently, uh, Mouse Tread's super sleepy. <laughs> also, hey, Cog, how's it going? Hope you've been having a good day. Hope everybody that's been watching has been enjoying the tournament so far. Uh, we're on anti peak Wi Fi today, apparently. Which is very interesting. <laughs> Ready? All right, so we are going back to PS2. Okay, hilarious, of course. It is a New York thing, I guess, at this point. Well, the Pikachu, I feel like, would have a lot of really strong advantages on most stages. Three, two, one, oh, welcome back. Yeah, um, pretty neutral. They, 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 they honestly, like, I don't know, I feel like nobody really gains a particular advantage here at all. It's really interesting to me that Mouse Rat is just running up into people's shields, despite the fact that, like, Mega does have a really good, has a decent grab, a decent shield grab, all things considered. Like, he's really kind of playing with fire that he's not gonna, like, get just completely messed up. For, uh. Ooh! Okay. He waited a little too long on that. The beginning game combos between each of these guys are just incredible. Like, her mouse got started off so aggressively, now Mega's, you know, you know um, chuckling off a little bit of what he can do. Yeah. Also, a big aspect of this matchup is just the fact that, like, 
Bounce Rat's playing a tiny character, so Mega has to be very careful with how he tries to space his Nair in order to uh, to get any kind of confirm, but when he gets it, it's good. <laughs> this man is dead. Ooh, good, good, yes. Very nice use of the throw mitts ability to avoid the damage from the thunder. Definitely, mascot. Mascot definitely seems like a little bit more frazzled on um, this game compared to the last one. He said he was uh, only on two hours of sleep. Oh goodness, guys, um, please, yeah. please. Like, so, why do you want to play Pikachu? If you're, if you're, if you're that tired. And it's like now that uh, Mega knows his weakness, <laughs> he's going in. I guess I don't know. Man, honestly, there's some characters that are so difficult to play on very little sleep. Like Pikachu, Nas, DDD. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, you can say that if you want. I do want to say that. That's why I said it. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Just able to neutral air dodge through the down B and still able to connect the nail. But no, this is definitely his stock to take. Don't know if he wanted just a dash forward F tilt. That was... Oh, I get it. He was trying to cover Mouse for that uh, dropping down and going for another up B to center stage. Um, and that would have actually gotten it. I think that was a really, really smart choice for Mega, even if it didn't work out. Um, it was like really, really calculated, I think. Yeah, Mouse kind of falling apart here, dude. Like, you gotta play a little more patiently, even when you're down. And this is like really the big thing about playing a character like this, that whose best uh, skill is really at playing super evasive. Is if you don't get like an early lead or you don't like keep the game even, it can be really tough to kind of have the mental fortitude. To go through like a really slow match and slow it down to the speed you needed to be to, to do what you gotta do. But alright, he's got he's getting his gumbo game started. So the next stock might not be too far away, but ah, uh, you get a hit like that. Oh. Yeah, this this is such a completely different game. I feel like it's not more so mascot being like impatient. I just think he's kinda of sticking to the same flow trick that he did last game. And Mega, I believe he's like a really big like set play person. He's super big on adaptation throughout the set as it goes on. That snap was nuts. Yeah, that was just barely on the He just did it again! <laughs> Mega's like, oh, you whiffed your grab? I'm just gonna do it again. Man. What was that game? The first what? one was so slow paced, like really methodical. What happened? Uh, do you want the real answer? Because the answer definitely is the fact that uh, Mouse Rat lost that stock super, super, super quick. And then he got a little bit antsy with it. Yep. Yeah, no. It's uh, it's honestly the pace of the match is 100% in Mouse Rat's control because whether or not Mega manages to get hits on him is going to be up to him because he's the quicker character. And he's the one that's gonna kind of set the uh, the mood of the match, the pace, and everything else. And it just seems like losing his stock that early just really messed with him. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, uh, what's not good? I was slicing cheese for myself from a block of cheese with a peeler, and the 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 knife bl broke off of the peeler. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the knife well. broke off of the peeler. Yes. Like the swivel, like the swivel yes. peeler. A really great way to get cheese off the block, but I applied way too much pressure. Anyways... <laughs> get a cheese knife. <laughs> Whatever. I'm so sorry about that, that's completely off topic. No, I'm just like, yeah, it's like, you're just, it's just culinary adventures of dollars, is what happens. But you know, back to the match. Um, a good start from Mousetrap, like, he's really picking his spots really well here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think on Battlefield it becomes so difficult for Ike to begin to approach to deal with the T-Gels, especially circulating around the platforms, being such a tall fella. You know, like 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 he's just gonna be running into those eventually. Um, the mouse is just able to get a good amount of mileage off of them, but you know, Mega able to get like um, some platform um, advantage of his own, like sort of preventing Mouse Rats um, and limiting his landing options. How quick is uh, is Ike's up air? Because it looks like it's super duper quick. Like he just it just comes out, and it just like it, yeah, it really is like that. It really is just like he just chops your head off, like super super free. When he catches you at the start of it. Oh, this red's dead. Oh baby. Also like. Nah, that whiff grab isn't very unfortunate for uh, for Mega. I didn't end up amounting much. Mouse rat pushing advantage. 
Yeah, wow, Mousecat stood still. Mousecat stood still, and Mega just ran up and grabbed him. I, I don't know, I kind of feel like Mega's kind of all over him right now. Like, he's, like, really, really on top of it. Just I mean, it's, it's really that 50-50, where it's like, are you going to do something, or are you going to do nothing? Because some people definitely will just run up to you and do nothing, like, hoping for you to do some kind of, like, uh... Thing like to flinch basically. Oh my goodness, Mega's turned off, dude. What is Mega's going on I've with had you? Enough. I look at Mouse here, just like whiffing that dash. Good. Whiffing a grab with Pikachu is so committal. Like, you will be getting exploded for a little bit. Oh my god, my dog just jumped in my lap. All right, what was that? That was Luna. She's just excited. Uh, that's neither, <laughs> it's not a part of the match. Well, be most exciting. <laughs> oh, oh wow, dead? what a good change. No? That was that was really, really nice. Like Mega, like he could have recovered above it, but instead he's like, you know what? No, I'm gonna optimize this. I'm gonna get another hit while while I'm out there. I'm gonna get a little bit of extra damage. And honestly, it might come really, really in handy. Mouse who got though finally able to get a little bit of damage going with those back hits. Not a whole lot though. And just like struggling, he is struggling to get anything started. I could really appreciate the fact that each time Mega gets in there. He's really keeping Mousetrack guessing because instead of always going for like a super hard option that's guaranteed to kill, sometimes he just backs off and he's like, I let you live. This was my choice to allow you to live. Mm -hmm. Only by the grace of me are you still alive. Yo, seeing down smash, down smash, up smash, that is the most mega thing I've ever seen. He does this. <laughs> he does this. I know if I've seen him do this before. Oh my god, what is going on? Mega, please don't go this game. Nope, okay. he is definitely not planning to, but maybe he's going to. Now that maybe that's right. That's right. Like that's the beginning. This is the start of my story. Oh gosh! <laughs> the DJ clanking with the up smash. That's mad weird. Oh no. Oh, poor Pikachu. You just see the way that he grits his teeth. He's an actual pain. Blue no baby. Hope if you if you see my Twitter, you can see my broken uh, my broken feeling. It's truly a tragedy. What happened? I'm actually oh. really upset about that. Oh, that's my cheap. Why does it look? Is that like a cheap Swiss swivel peeler? Um, I I guess so. no no I like I I don't like swivel ones. I like oh it is a swivel one. I do like I do like V neck ones. You're really eating cheese while you're commentating and you're just like you're just tweeting about it. Does anyone no, no, else no, see I, cheese like this? Yes, I wanted to know. I had that listen. I had that video even before I sat down for this set. Okay, I just happened to post it. Daily. Anyways. Um, that means Mouse got. That was actually so surprising because I felt like Mouse got. <laughs> Mouse Rat showed a hint of weakness, being like, LOL, I'm asleep. I'm only two hours to sleep. And Mega's like, Your word? I'm ready to F you up, boy. Right, right Doug? I thought you were going to see a lot. Alright, so we're on to game four. I'm going to give him the pet pats. Alright, so I'm going to go put the cheese away into the fridge. Just take a bite out of it. Oh wait, is this best of five? And this is best of five, yes. Oh, never mind. Um, I thought this was the best of three. I thought that was the That's set. right. Let's yeah, let you get warm. Recording. Oh my god, Devin, I said it was best of five like four times. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh wait, Devin, you stopped the recording? Huh. Yeah, I'll stay there. Yeah, it's not a problem. This is really make funny. a little Frankenstein bot. And now Mouse Gut said, never mind, I'm awake. Because, because he, oh, ugh, slightly mispositioned himself, isn't able to get the F-Smash um, now, but I feel like he's not going to mess that up again. He understands Ike's goal distance, um, so I feel like Mega's only going to be getting away with that once. Wouldn't they up there have killed him? 95? I don't want to. Yeah, Mega keeps going through that so, so often. That's like the first dash attack that he pulled, actually able to scoop up Mouse that though. Uh, so it needs to find this edge code, but just slightly off of this floater, unfortunately. Tries to go once again for another up throw, a uh, little mix up there. He baited out the air dodge because he conditioned him to think that he was going to go for the down beat. 
Almonds. That doesn't. <sighs> Committing so deep. He really, really wants these edge guards, but I feel like he's getting really, really hungry for it. Hungry. Ooh. I was surprised that actually didn't happen. Oh. Sorry, I was doing some TLing stuff. It was like, oh, of course, it's one of the sets that's further behind, too. That's having an issue. Hey, um, <laughs> did you know that Mega just did down throw up to up to forward and dealt 60 something percent? I mean, I think this man's it. mix is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, that's also a consequence of holding in. Sometimes you have to be willing to just get off the stage to take less damage. And some yeah. people just get really, like, they're just really scared of being put in a terrible position. Pikachu shouldn't be one of those characters, though. Let me see that Ike Dash attack. Mm -hmm. See that Ike Dash attack. You know you want to do it, Mega. You know you want it. He's looking for it. When even these players just start dash dancing, you're like, damn, <laughs> they want it. <laughs> Mega's like, oh, that's opening head, but that second one. Luna, no, stop, please. For the love of God. Stop down smashing! What is this? <laughs> what is this match, dude? He... Okay, well, I do want to say I have seen Ikes get shield blitz with the down smash before. Did not too dissimilar to help, like, Violet would get it, for instance. Um, and he almost did shield oh. with Mouse who had for it. <laughs> There's the badge attack. It just wasn't as raw that I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Um, yeah, this game is in Mega's lead, again, I feel like he's just on top of Mouse Rat. So much damage, so many punishes. There's very little to say about this, he just seems, his advantage is just pristine. He knows exactly when to pause, he knows exactly when to mix up his tempo and his momentum. And also I feel like Mouse Rat has like completely stopped um, being able to sort of get a hit on, on Mega's like aggressive side B's onto the stage. Mega like mixes them up so well that that mouse guy just hasn't been able to touch them since. That's gonna be the back throw. Oh, interesting that he doesn't go for the down throw this time. Last time he went for the down throw down B. Yeah, both of them right now are just sort of playing around each other. Neither show wants to get hit. Interesting commitment to up either, but it is actually going to get hit out of the startup of it. Mega, I, I feel like Sun and Sage is like constantly being exchanged between the two. Mouse Lot never wants to hold it for too long. Always like prioritizing, like not getting hit at this point. And Mega is just doing everything he can to hold on to the stock. 180% he is hanging on by a threat. Okay, that was interesting. I don't know why Mega didn't just go for the up tilt, considering like how much space that covers, but it didn't end up being that big of a... Uh... He doesn't go for up tilt often, I've noticed. He definitely opts for up tilt a whole lot more. He tries to lead an air dodge um, from the down tilt, so he just like waited instead of jumping preemptively. Doesn't get it though. And now I want to say Mouse Guard is basically a kill for the for like, like uh, back it of nail to up air might kill at this point. Yeah, this man is gone. Exploded it even. Now, um, Mouse Red has to... Mega, please. <laughs> Watching Mega just swing twice in a row and exact same way is like, is like the most, like, kind of infuriating thing, because it's like, yeah, yeah, really? Like, yeah. It's not bad to, like, exert pressure, but dang, dude, like, you're just going in, huh? I mean, if it works, it works, and if it doesn't work, he doesn't have anything to lose. Because I feel like his spacing of it is actually really safe, too. Look, he, he understands the range of it, he understands how much lag it does. Wow, what a good catch on the dash in. He was baiting that out with all of those empty hops. I love the way that just, just he baits all of these approaches from his movement alone. That's like something I've definitely seen Mega do so often. Jeez! Didn't go for up air though, huh? That's weird. Yeah, no, we're at the point where Mega can totally win this off of one stray hit. But if he's not uh, careful, he's pretty much done though. But one good edge from Pikachu could be enough to take it. So you see Mouse Rat now really, really heavily committing to the T Jolts. So smart to go through the jabs there instead of a grab. Mega preemptively spot dodging. That was really brilliant, I feel like. Mouse Rat is hanging on by a sliver of a thread. Yeah. That's a nair. 
hype that. Your skills were remarkable. That is cool. Oh no! What are you doing? Okay. So high now that that has now that set has concluded, I want to go put my cheese back in the fridge. Put oh, your warm no. cheese back in the, the fridge, yes, please. That sounded really awkward. Not gonna lie. Uh, You're disgusting warm cheese. Huh? Or why do you have a video of you eating cheese with a white peeler? Because I, I just, curious. I just, I was curious if anybody else did it that way. That's but so. Weird. I'll, I'll be right back. Uh huh. Sure. I think it's Mensa until I broke my peeler. Now it's not the Mensa. <laughs> your peeler's kind of cheap, apparently. All right, so we're gonna have Slink versus Ralphie up next. All right, let me kick uh, Mel Shred out of here. Devin, how's your day been, by the way, buddy? 